Hi all. Okay, so now we enter into the session wherein we'll see uh, how to do Google Shopping Ads. We'll learn about Google Shopping Ads. Uh, now, to do Google Shopping Ads, uh, uh, before doing that, we need uh, one important thing. In fact, uh, two important things. First is to have a Google Merchant uh, Center account. Okay. And after we set up our Google Merchant uh, Center account, uh, we need to, you know, uh, we need to uh, uh, have product feeds on uh, on the Google Merchant Center account. Okay. Now, Google Merchant Center account is uh, the account which is, of course, a free tool given by Google, wherein you can, uh, you know, you you can have all your products uh, feed there, and those same can be basically incorporated while uh, doing your shopping ads. Okay, uh, now uh, to open a Google Shopping, uh, I mean Google uh, uh, Merchant Center account, uh, it's, it's a very easy process. Uh, so you just uh, need to uh, sign up. I just show it to you. Okay, um, Google Merchant Center. Okay. Okay, now this is where you actually have to click and uh, now if I click it will autom automatically take me to the Google Merchant Center uh, account because I already have one. Uh, so if I sign in then I just, uh, you know, because I'm already signed into my Google Ads and then if I sign into my Google Merchant Center account it will already take me to my uh, uh, Google Merchant Center account basically. Right. So this is the inter interface. Now, when you are doing it for the first time, what they will basically ask you are very simple, uh, simple things like your uh, business information. You give your business information in terms of um, the name of your business, uh, you know, and then uh, they would all, also ask you things like your tax information, um, uh, very basic stuff. And then uh, after the doing that, what you basically do have? Okay, one thing that you need to do after that is that you have to verify your account basically. Uh, verify your uh, website URL, uh, uh, which is uh, again a very very simple automated, uh, I mean, a simple process to follow. You just have to follow the process. You just need to uh, verify your website URL, and uh, uh, and uh, third, uh, thirdly, you need to uh, link your Google Merchant Center account to your Google Ads. That's it. And after that, you're good to go. And then you'll have uh, an interface like this. Okay. Now that you have this uh, Google Merchant Center, you know, account with you, then uh, you have to do, what you have to do is that you have to uh, do the product feeding. So product feeds uh, can be done in various ways. Now if I click here, for example, now when I go to all products, I already, so this is my product feed basically. Okay, now, uh, there are ways to do it. One is that you can do it individually, wherein uh, you just click on this, okay? Okay, then what happens uh, if you have, uh, then you have to fill up these uh, details, like for example, if you have uh, your GTIN, uh, number of GTN is nothing but your global, uh, what do you say, global trade uh, item number, or you got, uh, similarly, you know, uh, certain other, other things, and you can fill it up here. Otherwise, you just leave it blank, and then you have to do product uh, feed in, in case, in case uh, of course, you, you, uh, you will have a product ID if you have an e commerce platform, or if it says Q, meaning stock keeping unit then uh, this number has to be filled up here and then you give uh, uh, the title here okay uh, now in my case for example uh, i've got head bracket okay uh, title will be head bracket tennis racket so to say head tennis racket uh, what was the name speed okay it is a sub brand name. Brand is brand is head 
Here is the brand of tennis racket, so to say. Description. Good for players. Good for players. Seeing a lot of dancing around. Okay. Good for players who love speed. Okay. okay. Uh, now landing page link. Uh, so when I go to my this one. So this is the URL that I would like to have it there. Just copy paste this. So got an image link, I do that or I just browse in. The put here the image I'm talking about. The price at the put say the price is 27, uh, 2000, say uh, 14,700. Okay, niner stock. There are different options in stock or back order, limited availability, out of stock, pre order. So let me. Put this as limited availability. Okay. Condition is it new or used? Refurbished. Okay. It's new. Okay. I have an apparent or variant products. If you go variant products, you can just uh, toggle this. And this also, if you're going to advance, you just uh, put this. And then, uh, or if it's basic, then you just put this. Okay. And uh, now, anything else I need to fill up here. So this will be all automated uh, since I don't have a, a SQ or ID um, product ID, so I leave it blank and I'll have an ID auto assigned to it after I save this. Okay. Okay. So this is the now. Okay. One more thing is that now uh, Google will uh, review this. And it's uh, going to take about three days time for the Google, uh, for Google to review this, and then only you know it will be approved, so to say. So during this time, you know, even though I've submitted this, uh, it'll take time uh, to review, and in three days, within three days time, I'll come to know. It will it will be part of uh, if everything goes okay, it will be part of the product feed that can be used in the uh, while doing the shopping app, basically. Okay. So that's one way of doing adding your product. Okay. Now another way of adding a uh, product, which is the usual way when you've got uh, so many products, obviously you have a lot of products. Then what you do is that you do feeds, product feeds. Okay, it's called product feeds, wherein you have different option of uh, adding your feed basically. So how you add this uh, primary feeds, uh, product feeds, uh, you basically can use it, uh, use a XML file or Google Sheet a lot of most of the people use Google Sheets. So um, what you basically have to do is that you have to click on this sign and then India country of sale is India. English is the language and pre-listing and when I continue, I have got all these options as you can see. Okay. I just give a primary feed name. So I could, okay. Google Sheet, okay. Then I just, uh, you know, I select uh, the Google Sheet here, continue, and then I, uh, you know, it comes in a form. Uh, uh, the entire feed is basically incorporated here. Now, how do, how do, uh, what do you all need the, in the Google Sheet? I just have a small description here. Just make this.
So these are uh, the things that you need to have in your uh, Google Sheet in terms of the product feed. The product ID, item uh, group ID if you have title, you know, in this case for example what I've done is that, that these are all t-shirts. Okay, mm, uh, then color, what color you have, uh, size, is it small, medium, excel, age, group, you know, is it adult or gender, male or female, you know, then material, cotton, pattern, brand, so like that you have to do, uh, uh, you know, add this uh, important uh, columns basically, okay. So this, uh, so this is basically then going to take, be taken as your product feed. So these are important things that you need to uh, put up. Okay. And then uh, and after that, you basically uh, you know upload this Google Sheet, and then uh, it will be part of your. Okay. Yeah. Now when I go back here. So as you can see, uh, pending initial, it's, it's all pending, okay, uh, because I've just done it. So it'll take about three days time for it to review. And then uh, accordingly, it, uh, Google will let me know. Okay. Now after this is done, I then can do my shopping ad. So assuming that my product feed has been uh, approved, uh, my book, uh, you know, then And uh, then I come to my Google Ads. All I do is, like always, click on this plus sign. Go for a new campaign. Okay. So here I select sales. Okay. And then what I do, I go for shopping. Drive online and in-store sales with shopping ads that show near search results on Google Search, Google Images, Google Search Partner Sites, Google Display Network, and more. Okay. So this, this is your shopping ad click here so it's taken so it's automatically taken my Google Merchant Center this is my Google Merchant Center account it will come automatically if I have linked my Google Merchant Center with my Google Ads so uh, it's already linked so it's showing here countries all that I select and here I've got two option uh, I'll be selecting smart uh, shopping campaign which basically maximizes my conversion value by using automated billing and targeting across Google search network, display network, YouTube and Gmail. So it's recommended uh, because you know it, uh, it's automated bid bidding or if you want to go for a uh, standard shopping campaign wherein you do uh, your own bidding and uh, you know pick your own products, bid strategy and stuff like that then you choose this. But I'll go with smart shopping campaign because this is uh, uh, an automated bidding basically right then I continue okay I will have to give a name as usual what I do I uh, let me shopping and This already we have seen seen in uh, the past session, so I'll not go too much into this conversion uh, goals. I click uh, like this, then uh, I have the different option of bid strategy, maximize conversion value, or if you want to have uh, ROS, I click, click this. But let me go for maximize conversion value, and I enter a budget of say 500 rupees per day, and I give an end date. Start date is 22nd and they and select as so I'll give it two days time uh, 24th okay and I do save and continue now I come to the product groups groups and assets now what has happened is that <clears throat> my product as you can see I have just submitted and it's going to take three days time for Google to review then only it'll be showing it so now uh, it's not going to be shown here because the products have been submitted and uh, so it's going to take some time 
Now, after three days, when I come here, I'll see all these products uh, and the, the products that I submitted, uh, you know, whether it's a single product or in the form of uh, a product feed will be shown here and then I can accordingly select. But now I can't see it now, uh, so I don't have the option of showing it to you. But uh, when you actually uh, submit it uh, after three days, this is how you will uh, see it here. So I've got no other option but to cancel and then move uh, ahead to show as to what else is there. Now assets, here I need to add my image, okay, I can, uh, so like it's a normal ad now, like you already saw in a display campaign image, you've got a video you can uh, select, then text, uh, short headline, long headline, description, you know, so this is all that you can do and then after that you save and uh, yeah, so after that basically, you know, after filling up all this, it's basically good to go. Right, so that's about it. Uh, in a nutshell, <clears throat> to do shopping ads, first you need a Google uh, Merchant Center account. And after you set up your Google uh, Merchant Center account, you need to have your product feeds, which you can do uh, as single products or in terms of product feeds, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, wherein you can have a lot of products at the same time using a Google Sheet uh, like I showed, showed you. And after you do your product feed, uh, you submit basically and then Google will take three days time to review it and then your products can will be shown when you're doing shopping ads. Then you come to your campaign in Google Ads, select campaign, go to sales, then after that you come to shopping, uh, right? And after the shopping you select uh, smart campaign. Uh, okay, now after you select uh, shopping as the option, what will happen is that your product feed will all automatic, automatically be shown there. Uh, I mean, your Google Merchant Center will automatically be shown there because it's your Google Merchant Center is linked to your Google Ads. That is very important. You need to link your Google Merchant Center to your Google Ads. Okay. And uh, after after uh, after that, what do you have to do? You have to select Smart Campaign or Standard Campaign. And here I selected Smart Campaign. And after selecting a Smart Campaign, it's as usually you, you know you select all the uh, all the other different options. And after that, you uh, come to this. Uh, the only difference here you'll find in this uh, that you'll find is that you come to this uh, uh, page wherein uh, you'll have uh, the products uh, uh, that you can select but in, uh, in my case it's not selected because I just uh, did it um, just a few uh, just a few minutes back and Google will take three, three working days uh, uh, to review and then it'll be shown here right and after that uh, after you select these products so you basically come down and you select the assets in terms of images video and then as usual your uh, headline description and all the stuff and then good to go so uh, that's as far as uh, google shopping ad is con uh, as a concern um, uh, it's uh, again nothing uh, um, I'll not say it's anything different from any other ads, but the only difference is that, uh, of course, uh, like we said, we need a Google Merchant Center, a product feed, uh, right? And a correct, correct product feed is very important because that will have your ID, your different price, prices for your different products, your different color. I mean, if, if you've got uh, products like t-shirts and all that, different colors, whether it's men or women, sizes, it could be small, medium. So all those, uh, your product feed has to be correct, basically, right? And then it may automatically taken in your shopping ad. Okay. So again, thanks a lot. And uh, yeah, so as usual, it was uh, great to be part of the session. And uh, thank you so much. And see you again. Thanks. Bye.